Hello there and welcome to this video. Um, I'm here to talk to you about intuition. What is intuition? It is your inner tuition. It is the very ability that we all have. It's linked with the animal instinct with us as well as accessing our psychic spiritual nature. It is the creative flow of unconscious knowing of things that we do without even knowing it. It's the expressions that I use over the years is similar to wherever my legs are taking me is where my intuition is guiding me. You see, we're all like puppets in a way. Now I understand the conspiracy theory side of puppets and we are like sheep or sheeple as some people call it. It's far from that. See, we have, we can all be easily controlled and directed by society um, because we listen to our elders, our teachers and people that we look up to because we want to follow them or look like them or be inspired by similar characters, teachers and people that we follow. And nowadays with social media and stuff as well, so some kind, sometimes there is this subconscious unknowing that we are doing, that we are following. But our intuition is something that we have that we cannot consciously control, it's something that comes to us. So it's like remote viewing, it's the same, exactly the same thing. Remote viewing exercises uses a blank target that we are blind to because it allows our, our non-analytical mind, our intuitive nature to come in and find the information ourselves. So our intuition is something that takes many, many years to master. I'm still trying to master it till this day, exploring it over 20 years and utilizing it. Another example I use is, it's a clear, sunny, beautiful day and you are just about to walk out the door, going wherever you are, outside, beyond your home, and you've just got your shoes on, and then you look, your intuition sort of, your eyes are guided to look at your umbrella or your raincoat, and then you question it. You're thinking, oh, wait, hold on, I don't need that, because you're about to pick it up. But that's, that's your intuition talking to you, that you're going to need the umbrella or that raincoat. So what happens is that you leave the house, you ignore your intuition, and what do you find out? It starts to go overcast, it starts to, you know, rain, and you're wet, and you're like, oh, I wish I picked up my raincoat or my umbrella. I wouldn't have got wet. So this is when the little voice inside of us our intuition is guiding us to do something. Now you see, the more you master it and the more you're connected to your intuition, it becomes more easier, more supple, more easy to mold and, and suit your reality. So you will start to tune into the reality around you that your intuition is following. So doing your daily tasks, you'll start to plan ahead and then you'll have the feeling of, hmm, I might need that. For example, I did an event in London with a facilitator and I don't smoke, I have lighters for incense and candles and things in my home and just before I left, um, this was about five, five or six years ago, I picked up the lighter and I looked at it just before I was about to go to London and I thought, I don't need this, why would I pick this up? And I'm thinking, I'm going to take it just in case and I'm glad I did because the facilitator didn't have a lighter on them, we didn't have enough time to go to the shop and buy a lighter, there wasn't near nearby one, there wasn't near shop nearby and I just, he said, oh I forgot my lighter, <laughs> I forgot any matches and I just put up my pocket and said, here you go, and he's like, where do you get that from? And I was like, I felt I needed to bring it <laughs> and although the incense wasn't, it wasn't a necessary thing but it helped to help invite the space beautifully. So things like that can save you a lot of stress um, and just little things like making food you might make a bit extra then you might bump into a friend and then all sorts of strange things can happen you might do things that are unknowingly done in your conscious mind but yet your conscious mind is questioning why you are doing something but again if you're questioning something and you are physically or about to do something then don't question it, don't ignore it, go with the flow, because that is the flow of intuition. Again, this takes a long time to master. I'm still trying to master it. I've been doing spiritual practices for 
over 20 years and you know I'm nowhere near a master in my eyes I, I should be able to walk out of reality into reality and go okay this is what I need to take with me this is what I need to do and just be like a maid or something but however I'm still human you know there's this duality of our spiritual side our physical side and the conditioning that we have and the voices that we hear in our head telling us to do things and not to do things and that's a waste of time and nothing is a waste of time you know killing time you don't really kill time you make time and you're living your life in such a way that you don't need a holiday so some little tips for you to be more anchored into your uh, intuition is basically just to be aware be listening all the time and if your body or your actions are doing something and then you're questioning just go along with it anyway because you are guided like we all have spirit guides spiritual helpers gatekeepers guiding angels angels whatever you like to call them these non-physical friends in the local in neighborhood around us are helping guide us all the time and they see things from a bird's eye perspective looking down at us and they can see what's ahead on the road they can see what's the connections are happening they have a broader wider spectrum of perception in order to help us and they are there helping us they are no different than like a satellite in the sky helping the GPS navigation knowing that up ahead is road collisions and things however they are obviously tapped into the spiritual realm and nothing is really complex at all for for our guides for our non-physical friends in order to help guide us so meditation general awareness of your daily activities and what you are doing helps to put you into a state of intuition intuitive flow and how to get there is just simply listening and taking action of your actions and try not to question things that you are doing for example the raincoat the umbrella situation if you're about to go out and suddenly you feel like your hand goes to reach something and you're questioning just take it anyway if you have room for it with you just take it you it's best to take it than not now for I know some women out there done their hair well, and men you know if like that situation could cause a lot of stress if they were to get their hair wet or they're going to some sort of place or interview or wherever they're going you know it can just help relieve a lot of stress another thing is just planning ahead logically analytically in your mind but then the intuition will start to flow and you will start to tap into reality in a way that okay I feel like I need to leave 20 minutes earlier I don't know why or you're on the road and then this happens to me a lot as well that you're on the road and then you feel like you're gonna take a different direction one day and you do um, today it happened I missed my turning for some reason I was just somewhere else I think my guys were just guiding me somewhere down the road I missed my turning and I had to just take a, a minute extra and what happened was that there was this massive truck in the way that was like coming really fast along the road where I would have gone and I don't know maybe maybe my guide saved me in that instance so having this ability is nothing supernatural is nothing unnatural it's something that we all have intuition is a natural process that we all have now of course we have to dissect the two core main human emotions which is love and fear and you see that duality of fear and love you know if you are in fear state then you are paranoid you are concerned you do things in the negative state of mind rather than going into the, the flow of love and action see there needs to be a balance that if you are all love then you don't you're not having the grounded mind to be aware and um, responsible for your own actions and so you just willingly just go out there and give love which is beautiful but you also need to take respect for yourself and again this is where the intuition binds together with consciousness reality to get us to a play, place of, of awareness and perfection in our own state so again meditating and just being present with oneself all the time in every moment that you can because when your mind diverts you are no longer in the present moment and it's good to daydream a lot of uh, mediums and clairvoyants and uh, psychic pioneers out there in the world teachers and facilitators we are all daydreamers we're all visual people in our minds and this is when usually we get information or downloads as you call it and this is where we have inspiration and creativity and 
Everyone has these gifts, but people explore them in their own unique way. Songwriters, people who um, create lyrics out from thin air, it seems, but that thin air is our guides, our inspiration, the flow, and the, you might get that, wow, I've got a great idea, it's just happened, where'd that come from? And that's because your guides are helping you, you know. They're helping give you some of these ideas. Although it came from you, you facilitated the information to put it into reality. So intuition is an important ability that we all need to refine all the time to become just that little bit more conscious, grounded and aware in our everyday state. But as I'm saying this, it doesn't mean that you're going around and being, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, okay, and now am I intuitive? Am I in in my intu intuition now? Am I spiritual? It's like, no, you, you try to block all that away and to allow the etherical realms to come into your mind, the, the information, you just need a blank slate and it's just walking down the street or out in nature and just having a blank mind and allowing things to flow into you. Because if how can information flow into you, into your, into your physical mind, if your mental mind is completely blocked with problems, fears, all sorts of things. So it's, problem, it's always important to eliminate the problems in our mind, empty out the garbage that's in our, in our head and allow us to be really present in this moment. I'm not sure if any of this has helped for you at all. Intuition is a very complex but yet natural process that animals have, humans have and also nature, everything has intuition and it's important to flow with the um, with the with reality and being present in every moment is very important without all that garbage in our head which prevents us being present and with all that garbage in our head we can't allow the information to flow and there is bodily intuition where our legs or our arms might do something and we pick something up but then there's our uh, the inner force of our emotions of like okay I feel like I need to do this and you just need to follow it you need to listen to your heart and your desire and if you feel like what you're doing is what you want to create then it will happen intuitively it will flow and you will create some amazing magic so keep present keep meditating be aware at all times and just empty your mind as much as you can and the intuition will flow and you will follow the footsteps, the stepping stones to your destination. Unknowingly, you, it will happen. So these are just uh, some little clips of information that hopefully you can help guide your own life. Be your own medium, be your own wizard, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. You have the power inside you to create a world of abundance and and positivity. All you have to do is listen. So thanks for listening.